growing up here, growing up in the way I grew up, man, I feel like if I can help anybody, it's helping myself, exactly. yeah. keeping me on the right path. A steam facial to start the day, an indulgence of luxury that can be elusive within the fabric of everyday life here. At first glance, the Palace Elite Barbershop on Main Street in Worcester seems a touch out of place. People would tell me, why would you go to Main South and put luxury barber chairs and all that type of stuff? And that's the point, so that my people can see with all the odds stacked against me to be able to succeed, I'm doing it. Principe Virtuez wasn't dealt an easy hand in life. He doesn't know his family. Unfortunately, my parents, they chose the street life, so I uh, grew up in foster care and in and out of different cities. He says by the age of 12, he chose the streets himself. It seemed to him a better option than living in a foster home, but the streets came with their own problems. Trials and tribulations, obviously hanging with the wrong people. Uh, in Main South, you know, unfortunately, there's a lot of drug use. Principe says he never used drugs, but that dealing them became a way of life. In your 13, 14 year old mind, you're like, I can go to McDonald's right now if I just sell him some drugs, you know what I mean? Or I can just keep walking back and forth and be starving. A decision that would launch him into a dangerous cycle. It started with juvenile detention centers. I'd be in and out. I would only get out for like two or three weeks. I'd be right back in there. Around 17, I went to an adult prison. He would get out, fall back. In total, he spent seven years behind bars. He eventually committed to counseling and his mental health and finally felt like he was never going back. I work at Shaw's stocking shelves and I'm going to barber school, but uh, Shaw's wasn't paying me much. And then once the 90 days was over, it wasn't enough to pay the rent. And then unfortunately, fell back into the path of trying to hustle to maintain. In 2008, he was sentenced again to eight years behind bars. This time, when the gates to freedom opened in 2016, he had a plan for success. I found a friend of mine, he lives in Webster, and uh, he had a barbershop. I told him, like, yo, I don't have any place to stay. I got the barber license, though. If you could just let me sleep in the basement of that barbershop, I'll figure it out. I stayed in the basement of his barbershop for about three months. And then in three months, there was a studio that opened up upstairs, and I got that. I didn't remove myself from the hustle. I, I figure out legal hustles to get it done. Two years ago, when he saw this former bike shop for sale, he didn't think twice. After all, this was once a makeshift shelter. It, was, it just made sense, man. I was like, yo, man, I slept in the back parking lot, man, and I'm gonna own this place. So I found this particular spot and had to have it. He's been doing a lot of the stuff I've been doing living around this area. Christopher Gothier says it can be tough to find motivation, to find your way out, your way up. He isn't just inspired by Principe's presence here. He is part of a new program called Bobber Talks. What I do anyway, you know, when people come to my chair, I try to find out what's going on in their life. Now I'm actually like, got training for that. Therapy via the chair, a safe place for men to talk about their struggles. He listens and he doesn't judge people. Whatever they want to work on it, whether they want uh, life skills, uh, relationship development, uh, physical fitness, uh, stress management. For most people, just that little, you know, bit of encouragement from someone can help them. I cannot be doing good at that time and talking to him, uh, I, I leave happy. I can come in depressed and leave happy. Principe has now taken his positive outlook on the road and online. So what I'm about is spreading positivity. As Prince the Fit Barber, he shares his story and affirmation with anyone who will listen. Principe says it's not really about not giving up. It's about getting back up when you do. That just gives them one more day. And we don't know if we're living to see tomorrow anyway. So all you need is one more day. No, appreciate you, friend. Yep. See you next time, all right? Yep. Principe says he is busy opening a second luxury barber spa location, this one in Maine. Barbershop Talks is growing nationally. A coalition formally trains barbers in active listening, validation, and positive communication. Palace Elite is also a participant in the Barbershop Health Network, which offers services such as blood pressure and glucose screening to Worcester residents who might not have easy access to a doctor. Up next, a difficult diagnosis changed her path.